uh, so policies are basically uh, two type of policy we do have is the centralized policy and localized policy. The centralized policies are, you know, uh, defined as a centralized control policy, centralized data policy, and centralized application aware policy. So what does it mean by that? The centralized policy, which is centralized data policy, is basically a, a policy which is sitting, centralized data and control policy is the policy which is sitting on the vSmart and doing the things. So for an example, I am playing with the different kind of the topology. That's where every route is going on the vSmart. vSmart would be doing the things and would be influencing. The localized policy is the, you know, opposite to the centralized policy where it is a localized control policy and the localized data policy. This policy does sit on the edge of the device, which is on a VH, you can see here is that sitting on the VH and doing the, you know, things. Uh, so when you want to see the, you know, uh, what is the localized policy, you can go on the VH and can see that the, the configuration does exist on the VH itself. So this one is sitting on the VH and this one is sitting on the vSmart. And you know that what is the control policy and data policy, simple. So centralized and localized policies, the Cisco ST1 policy software design provide the clear separation between the centralized and localized policy. Centralized policy is provisioned on the centralized vSmart controller and the localized policy is provisioned on the VS router. With the localized data policy, also called as an access list, you can provision a QoS classifying incoming data packet into the multiple forwarding classes based on the importance spreading the forwarding classes across the different interface queues schedule the transmission rate on the weight for the each queue so all this is a date localized data policy which will directly sit on the vs device the centralized policy on the vsmart centralized control policy affect routing policy influence the routing decision sitting on the vs route sorry affect routing policy to influence routing decision on the VS router. This type of policy allow us to set the preference for the routes or a path on the vSmart controller and is reflected forwarding table on the VS router. So this policy is basically sitting on the vSmart doing everything, instructing VS router to how you need to do the things in regards of forwarding the traffic to build out your control. Application aware routing policy select the best path for the given application based on the SLA requirement. These requirements include latency, packet loss, jitter. Application aware routing policies are configured on the vSmart controller and are enforced on the VS router. So when we are configuring, these guys are these, these things are keep sitting on the VS uh, vSmart sorry on the vSmart and you know instruct to the uh, VS router by sending a copy of that application aware router configuration. Centralized data policy are used to traffic classification, DSCP marking, path selection, service ingestion, policing. Data policies are configured on the vSmart and enforced on the VS. So in nutshell, if you will understand, centralized policy means that the something which is applied on the vSmart and the it, the you know localized policy is the mean which is being applied on the uh, device itself. Uh, we manage driven how how it is being done is that the control policy, routing and services, which is more on to you know doing the uh, the routing control and all, application route uh, application policy aware routing, data policy. Combine of Combine and apply per site. So basically what we do is that we combine all of these into the one consolidated policy uh, and we apply it per site. Execute the control policy, advertise application aware routing data policy to the site. Execute AAR data policies as received dynamic routing and policies combined to the dictator behaviors. So 
basically this is just a frame uh, you know how the application this uh, policy uh, does work you will understand more when we will be doing the things packet flow through the vs router how the packet is being flowed on the vs router and you know what is being played the role at which place so number one is that local policy configuration policy or administration control classification marking so kind of the acl or anything you do have there or marking uh, based on the packet and then the second is that uh, centralized application aware routing policy path selection based on the sle which you have configured application aware routing stuff then the second third is that centralized data policy so policy are so something which is being done from the v smart as in a policy or administration control classification marking from the v smart is being done would be overwriting the policy sir which you have implemented on the local device so for an example if you have done something local to the device but top of that the admin is doing something on the v smart against what you have done it would be writing overwriting the the configuration i mean the the behavior which you have done comparison to the v smart so what does it mean by that v smart policy is prepared over the local device policies right uh routing forwarding then the, the packet will come into the routing that you know how the routing has to be done once until now it is into the service vpn once routing is known and everything is known then it will come into the transport vpn which is your vpn 0 will do the scheduling and queuing on the exit interface or egress interface of the device and once it is done the local policy shaping and acl shaping which is again applied on the exit interface would be applied on the packet now let me take you through the lab so currently if you see here node forty open admin admin so bft session so currently you are seeing that i do have so many bft let me see if i can call someone something so it says that i do have currently eight pft sessions what does it mean by that if let's say i do have you know thousand of site and they do have a different transport different vss you know assume that you know how many vft sessions would be there and vft session is equal to the ip set tunnel which is you know again you know adding the overburden on the devices and there is a, a, a you know a setup where you have something uh you you know uh you your traffic is not usually talk to spoke to spoke so for an example if i take my topology i have a, a this setup and this side is not usually directly talk to the site not i would say directly is that they don't want to they don't exchange the data so frequently same like in your banking stuff and all the banking stuff don't talk side to side too much they talk to the data center or to the hubs and if i want to reduce those ipsec and vft session how could i do that and keep my topology simple is that i have to design my solution is that you know keeping some as in a hub and some as in a spoke right so i can you know design my uh, data center as a hub and rest as rest of them as an spoke so what i have done around is that is that i have built out some policy uh that we can activate and can show you so currently we do have a eight pft session to build out the F, uh, you know uh, policy we can go inside the configuration policies 
inside the policy we can you know uh, create the depending on the hub and spoke so i'll just quickly go here and show you probably so what my policy says is that you know i do have a match route with the site list dc1 what does it says that my site which is a dc1 is having a vpn list VPN 10, XN accept, sequence 20 says that match route site list remote site. So there is another site list which says that remote site, VPN list 10, that okay, do the VPN 10, XN accept is that you know, uh, accept the action, I mean, accept the route. But set the T log saying that T log DC1. What does it mean by that? Any of the route, you accept the route, but make the you know DC1 as an uh, you know uh, next row. And there is the same uh, I did for the, the you know DC2, which is saying that okay for a DC2 also it act as in the DC1 as in a hub. So DC2 will also act as in a spot. Thank you.